Born Susan Weld on August 27, 1943, in New York City, the actress we know as Tuesday Weld began her journey in the world of film at a young age. At just six years old, she made her acting debut in a television show, and by the time she was a teenager, she had already appeared in several films. Throughout her career, the actress has showcased her talent in a variety of roles, from dramatic parts to comedic performances. She has worked with some of the most renowned directors and actors in the industry, earning critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. One of the actress's most notable roles was in the film The Authentic Death of Henry Jones, for which she received a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress. She also earned a nomination for an Academy Award for her performance in Looking for Mr. Goodbar. Despite her success, the actress has remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She has continued to take on challenging roles and push herself as an artist, earning respect and admiration from her peers and audiences alike. Throughout her career, the actress has left an indelible mark on the film industry with her talent and dedication inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers. Her contributions to the world of cinema will continue to be cherished for years to come. Actress Tuesday Weld has been a prominent figure in the film industry for several decades. She began her career as a child actress and quickly gained popularity for her talent and versatility. Do you have a cherished memory associated with actress Tuesday Weld? Perhaps you grew up watching her movies or were inspired by her performances. We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. The actress has had an extensive career, appearing in numerous films and television shows. Some of her most notable roles include The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies, Sex and the Single Girl, and Lord Love a Duck. Her work has left a lasting impact on the industry and on those who have watched her. Can you share a personal story of how actress Tuesday Weld has inspired or impacted your life? Whether it was her portrayal of a certain character or her overall career, we would love to hear how she has affected you. Throughout her career, actress Tuesday Weld has faced many challenges and triumphs. From her early days as a child actress to her successful career as an adult, she has left a lasting mark on the film industry. As we delve deeper into the life and career of actress Tuesday Weld, we will uncover many funny, shocking, and sad facts. So, keep watching to learn more about this classic star. We can't wait to hear your stories and memories related to actress Tuesday Weld, so be sure to share them in the comments below. Born Susan Weld in 1943, the actress adopted the stage name Tuesday Weld in her early teens. Her mother, Yvonne Lyme, was also an actress, and her uncle, George Cahan, was a film director, suggesting early exposure to the world of film. The actress's upbringing was unconventional, to say the least. After her parents divorced, she was raised by her grandmother, who encouraged her acting aspirations. She began her career as a child model and appeared in several television shows and films throughout her teenage years. The actress's early exposure to the film industry and unconventional upbringing undoubtedly influenced her path. However, she also cites several key mentors who inspired her along the way. One of her earliest influences was actor and director Alia Kazan, who directed her in the film Splendor in the Grass. Kazan saw potential in the young actress and encouraged her to develop her craft. Another significant influence was actor and director John Cassavetes, who directed the actress in A Woman Under the Influence. Cassavetes' improvisational style and focus on character development resonated with the actress and helped her to develop her own unique approach to acting. The actress has also cited several other actors and directors as influences, including Marlon Brando, James Dean, and Martin Scorsese. She has said that she was drawn to their unconventional approaches to acting and filmmaking and that they inspired her to take risks and push boundaries in her own work. Despite her early success, the actress remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She continued to take on challenging roles and work with innovative directors throughout her career, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. The actress, known for her work in the film industry during the 1950s and 1960s, left a significant impact and influence that extends beyond her era. She began her career as a child actress, appearing in numerous television shows and films. Her breakout role came in 1961 with The Five Pennies, where she showcased her acting abilities and musical talents. This role led to more prominent roles in films such as Lord Love a Duck and Pretty Poison, 
which solidified her status as a serious actress. The actress was known for her versatility and ability to take on complex and diverse roles. She played a range of characters from innocent and vulnerable to cunning and manipulative, always delivering a captivating performance. Her contributions to Hollywood extended beyond her acting abilities. She was also a fashion icon, known for her unique and stylish wardrobe both on and off the screen. Her influence on fashion trends was significant, with many designers and fashion enthusiasts looking to her for inspiration. Despite her success, the actress remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She continued to take on challenging roles and push herself as an actress, never shying away from taking risks. In addition to her work in film, the actress also made significant contributions to television. She appeared in numerous TV shows and made for TV movies, always delivering a memorable performance. The actress's impact and influence on the film industry are still felt today. Her ability to take on complex and diverse roles, combined with her unique style and dedication to her craft, make her a true icon of Hollywood. Her contributions to the industry will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come. Raised in a show business family, the actress's passion for performing emerged early. As a young child, she would often accompany her mother to movie sets, where she became enamored with the world of film. One day, while on set, she found herself on camera by accident. The director, taken by her natural charisma, decided to include her in the scene. This unexpected experience ignited a spark within her, and she knew then that she wanted to be an actress. Driven by this newfound passion, the actress began taking acting classes and attending auditions. At the age of nine, she landed her first significant role in the film, The Five Pennies, starring Danny Kaye. Her performance was praised, and she continued to work steadily in film and television throughout her teenage years. During this time, the actress's love for acting only grew stronger. She was particularly drawn to complex and challenging roles that allowed her to explore different aspects of her craft. In her early 20s, she starred in the groundbreaking film Pretty Poison, which showcased her versatility and range as an actress. Her performance earned her critical acclaim and solidified her place as a rising star in Hollywood. Throughout her career, the actress has continued to push herself and take on diverse roles. From her early days on set to her current projects, her passion for acting has remained a constant force in her life. And while she may have discovered her love for the craft at a young age, it is a passion that has only deepened and evolved over time. At the tender age of 10, the actress was already smoking and drinking. Three years later, she attempted suicide with an overdose of pills and gin due to an unrequited love for a gay man. She also claimed to have had her first real affair at the age of 11. By 16, she had totaled half a dozen cars and was dating men three times her age, causing quite a scandal, although no statutory rape charges were ever brought against them. In 1977, the actress played the role of Catherine Dunn in the film Looking for Mr. Goodbar, one of two feature films that year in which Diane Keaton starred. The other film was Annie Hall, for which Keaton won the Best Actress Academy Award. Despite the actress's strong performance, she did not receive an Oscar nomination for Looking for Mr. Goodbar. The film did, however, receive two Oscar nominations for Best Actress in a Supporting Role and Best Cinematography. Unfortunately, it did not win in either category. Three years after making Looking for Mr. Goodbar, the actress and Richard Gere began dating. Their relationship further solidified the actress's status in Hollywood as she continued to take on challenging roles and captivate audiences with her talent. Despite facing financial struggles early in her career, the actress remained determined. She began working at a young age to help support her family and even turned down roles due to their inappropriate nature. This principal stand earned her respect in the industry, but also led to financial hardship. The actress's unique talent was not immediately recognized by the industry. In fact, she faced skepticism and was often relegated to supporting roles. However, she refused to let this discourage her. Instead, she used it as motivation to hone her craft and prove her worth. The actress's resilience was truly tested when she was labeled as a difficult actress due to her high standards and refusal to compromise her artistic vision. But she persevered, finding creative solutions to overcome these obstacles. She took control of her career by becoming more selective with her roles and choosing projects that aligned with her values. 
One notable example of her resilience was when she was offered a role in a film that she found to be shallow and unfulfilling. Instead of accepting the role, she suggested rewrites to add depth and complexity to the character. The studio initially rejected her suggestions, but she persisted and eventually won them over. The film went on to become a critical and commercial success, cementing the actress's status as a formidable talent. In addition to her tenacity, the actress also possessed a rare ability to connect with audiences on a deeply emotional level. Her performances were raw and authentic, resonating with viewers long after the credits rolled. This emotional intelligence, combined with her unwavering determination, allowed her to overcome the obstacles she faced early in her career and establish herself as a respected and beloved figure in the industry. After graduating from Hollywood Professional School as the valedictorian in 1960, the actress went on to star in the TV show Serial as Kate Holroyd. One of her cast members, Sally Kellerman, appeared in The Boston Strangler with Guida Donhow, who was tragically murdered by her husband, Broadway producer Norman Keene, in 1988. Two years later, the actress and her husband, Pinches Zuckerman, purchased Donhow's ocean front Montauk House, an estate where they resided for 16 years. In 1991, the actress was featured on the cover of Matthew Sweet's album Girlfriend. In the early stages of the actress's career, she gained recognition for her role in the film, The Five Pennies, released in 1959. Her performance was praised, and it marked a significant breakthrough for the young actress. A few years later, in 1961, the actress delivered a remarkable performance in The Rat Race, which earned her a Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year. This recognition further solidified her position in the industry. In 1970, the actress starred in Play It As It Lays, a film adaptation of Joan Didion's novel. Her portrayal of Maria Wyeth was highly acclaimed, with critics praising her for capturing the character's complexities and vulnerabilities. Later, in 1978, the actress's performance in Looking for Mr. Goodbar received widespread critical acclaim. Her ability to portray the character's dark and complex emotions was widely recognized, earning her a BAFTA nomination for Best Actress. In the 1980s, the actress continued to deliver compelling performances in various films and TV shows. Her work in Falling in Love Again, Once Upon a Time in America, and Heart of Dixie were particularly noteworthy. Throughout her career, the actress has been recognized for her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters. Her contributions to the film and television industry have left a lasting impact, inspiring many actors and actresses who have followed in her footsteps. In the film returned to Peyton Place, the actress playing Selena Cross, originally portrayed by Blonde Hope Lange, had to have her hair darkened. This change was made to distinguish her from co-stars Carol Lindley and Eleanor Parker, who played mother and daughter. Interestingly, the actress had previously portrayed the same character, Noreen Braxton, in Wild in the Country. Moving on to her personal life, the actress became a mother in 1976, giving birth to a son named Patrick Moore with Dudley Moore. The actress, known for her work in both film and television, has always brought a unique perspective to her roles. She is known to deeply analyze her characters, often drawing from her own personal experiences to add depth and authenticity. In an interview, she once mentioned, I think the best performances come from a place of truth and vulnerability. Her approach to acting is intuitive and instinctive. She once said, I don't really have a method. I just try to be truthful in the moment. This organic approach allows her to fully immerse herself in her characters, making them feel real and relatable to the audience. The actress's worldview is reflected in her work, often choosing roles that challenge societal norms and stereotypes. She has been a strong advocate for women's rights and has used her platform to raise awareness about various social issues. In one of her most memorable roles, she portrayed a woman who defied societal expectations, which resonated with many viewers. She has the ability to portray complex emotions with subtlety and finesse, making her performances truly captivating. Her unique style and approach to acting have made her a respected figure in the industry. She once stated, I've always tried to do work that matters, that says something about the human condition. This commitment to her craft and her desire to make a difference through her work is a testament to her artistic vision and process. In 1982, the actress had her sights set on playing the troubled 30s actress Frances Farmer in the biopic Frances. 
However, she ultimately lost the role to Jessica Lange. The actress also starred as Marge Converse in the film Oh Stop the Rain. According to an article in the August 24, 1978 edition of The Hollywood Reporter, the actress sued United Artists due to not receiving star billing as stipulated in her contract. The outcome of the lawsuit remains unknown. Additionally, the actress declined a screen test for the part of Daisy Buchanan in The Great Gatsby in 1974, just as Natalie Wood had done. The actress, known for her work in films like Sex and The Single Girl and Pretty Poison, made a significant impact in the industry during the 1960s and 1970s. With her unique blend of innocence and sultriness, she brought a fresh perspective to the roles she played. Critics and industry experts took notice of her talent. Renowned film critic Paul and Kale described her as a beauty who suggests something beyond beauty. This observation highlights the actress's ability to convey depth and complexity through her performances. Her influence can be seen in the way that later actresses have approached their craft. For instance, actress Sienna Miller has cited the actress as an inspiration, praising her for her raw and unfiltered performances. The actress's impact extends beyond just acting technique. She also challenged conventional norms and expectations for women in Hollywood. In Pretty Poison, she played a character who was both sexually attractive and morally ambiguous, subverting the typical good girl archetype. Moreover, her contributions to the industry have been recognized with several accolades, including a Golden Globe Award and multiple nominations. Despite retiring from the spotlight in the 1980s, her influence can still be felt in contemporary cinema. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in the actress's work, with retrospectives and reappraisals of her career. This renewed attention serves as a testament to the enduring impact and influence of the actress's contributions to the film industry. In the 1980 series serial, the actress's portrayal of Kate Holroyd is introduced with music reminiscent of Ravel's Bolero, which may have been inspired by the comedy film 10 released a year prior. Notably, the actress was married to the film star Dudley Moore during the production of both projects. In the mid-80s, the actress began sharing the false information that her mother had passed away, despite her mother still being alive. Eileen Weld, also known as Yosine, did not actually pass away until 2001. In the film Thief, the actress plays Jessie, and during a diner scene with James Caan, the sound effects, including traffic noises, were intentionally manipulated to add tension and depth to the conversation. Director Michael Mann aimed to elevate the scene beyond a simple dialogue exchange. The actress, known for her work in both film and television, values her privacy and keeps her life outside of the spotlight relatively low-key. However, she has been open about her passion for animals and their welfare. This love for animals has led her to support various animal rights organizations over the years. In addition to her love for animals, the actress is also known for her interest in art and antiques. She has been known to collect pieces from various time periods and cultures, which has influenced her work in the film industry. She has a keen eye for detail and often brings her unique perspective to the sets of the films and shows she works on. The actress has also been involved in various philanthropic efforts throughout her career. She has supported organizations focused on education, healthcare, and the arts. She has also been a longtime advocate for environmental causes and has worked to raise awareness about the importance of conservation. Despite her success in the entertainment industry, the actress remains grounded and dedicated to making a positive impact on the world around her. Her personal values and interests have informed her work and have led her to support various causes and organizations that are close to her heart. After appearing together in Rally Round the Flag, boys, actors Dwayne Hickman, and the actress were cast in the television series The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies. The show, like the film, was produced by 20th Century Fox. In this series, the actress played the recurring role of Thalia Menninger. Later in her career, the actress sold her homes in Manhattan, in Montauk, Long Island, NY, and moved to Colorado, near Aspen. The actress twice portrayed a character who undergoes an abortion and played as it lays in Looking for Mr. Goodbar. These performances were impactful and demonstrated her range as an actress. The characters she portrayed in these films were complex and their stories resonated with audiences. In both films, the actress gave nuanced performances that added depth to her characters. These roles were challenging and the actress rose to the occasion, 
delivering powerful performances that left a lasting impression on audiences. The actress, known for her work in films like Sex and The Single Girl and Looking for Mr. Goodbar, has left an indelible mark on the industry. With multiple accolades and a career spanning several decades, she's proven herself to be a true talent. When it comes to her future contributions, the actress has always been open to new and exciting projects. She's never shied away from taking on challenging roles and pushing herself as an artist. In fact, she's often said that she's always looking for the next great script or character to sink her teeth into. For aspiring professionals in the field, the actress offers this advice, never give up on your dreams. If you have a passion for acting, keep working hard and never stop learning. Surround yourself with supportive people who believe in you and your talent. And most importantly, always stay true to yourself and your art. Throughout her career, the actress has remained humble and grounded, never forgetting where she came from or the lessons she's learned along the way. She's a true inspiration to us all, and we can't wait to see what she does next. Actress Tuesday Weld is related to her Once Upon a Time in America co-star Anthony Perkins and Dina Merrill as they are third cousins. In Sergio Leone's epic crime film, Weld plays the character of Carol, who has a significant role in the three-hour and 49-minute version. However, Leone had originally intended for the film to be longer, with a running time of 4 hours and 10 minutes to 4 hours and 34 minutes. 45 minutes of footage was left out of the final cut, including a scene where Weld's character, Carol, meets Noodles in 1968. In the 1959 musical drama of The Five Pennies, Weld portrays Dorothy Nichols at the age of 13. During the film, viewers can spot a cameo by Bob Hope and Barbara Bel Geddes, and Weld can be seen waiting to enter the Brown Derby restaurant. Danny Kay makes a humorous remark about Hope in this scene. Weld's performance in The Five Pennies is noteworthy, and her talent is evident even at a young age. Born in 1943, the actress began her journey in the entertainment industry at a young age. She quickly made a name for herself with her undeniable talent and passion for storytelling. Over the years, she graced both the big and small screens, delivering compelling performances that left audiences in awe. The actress's career is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. She never shied away from taking on challenging roles, constantly pushing herself to grow and evolve as an artist. Her innovative approach to acting helped her stand out in a crowded industry and solidified her place as a true icon. Throughout her career, the actress has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her work has resonated with audiences around the world, transcending generations and inspiring countless others to pursue their passions. Despite facing numerous obstacles and setbacks, the actress never gave up. She continued to follow her dreams, proving that with hard work and determination, anything is possible. Her enduring impact serves as a reminder of the power of creativity and the importance of never giving up on one's dreams. In the end, the actress's journey is a true testament to the power of perseverance and the limitless possibilities of creativity. Her work will continue to inspire and captivate audiences for generations to come. In the film, The Cincinnati Kid, the role of Christian was originally meant for Sharon Tate, but due to circumstances, it was Tuesday Weld who stepped in after Sam Peckinpah's departure. Weld's portrayal of Christian became a significant part of her film career. In addition, the character Daphne Blake in various Scooby-Doo incarnations was modeled after Weld's character Thalia Menninger in The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies. This goes to show the impact of Weld's acting even in animated shows. Furthermore, in the movie Lord Love a Duck, Weld played the role of Barbara Ann Green, opposite Roddy McDowell, who played a high school senior despite being 36 years old at the time of filming. Well, on the other hand, was only 22. Interestingly, McDowell was the same age as Harvey Corman, who played the school principal, and only three years younger than Lola Albright, who played Weld's mother. This age gap adds an unusual layer to the film's high school setting. In 1962 and 1979, the actress was considered for the lead roles in Lolita and Norma Ray, respectively. Her talent was highly sought after in the film industry. In 1971, the 8th Street Playhouse in New York's Greenwich Village even hosted a film festival dedicated to her work. One of her notable roles was as Marge Converse in Who'll Stop the Rain. During a scene, while driving on Interstate 5 southbound, 
Her character is told that it will take eight hours to reach their destination in Elda, however, in 1971, the year the movie was set, the drive would probably only take six hours, depending on traffic. The national speed limit was reduced to 55 mph by President Nixon in 1974 due to the oil crisis, which would have increased the travel time to eight hours. These details provide a glimpse into the actress's career and the context of her roles. In the early 1970s, the actress was set to star in the film performance, but she dropped out at the last minute. Later, in 1975, she also bowed out of the Stepford Wives. These roles would have added to her already impressive filmography, which includes working alongside four Oscar winners and six nominees in the film Once Upon a Time in America. One of her notable roles was as Carol in Once Upon a Time in America, where she shared the screen with Robert De Niro, Jennifer Connelly, and Joe Pesci, among others. This film was a significant moment in her career, working with a talented cast and crew. Additionally, the actress turned down the role of Bonnie and Bonnie and Clyde in 1967. This decision may have changed the course of her career as the film became a classic and earned numerous award nominations. Despite this, the actress continued to have a successful career in the film industry, taking on various roles and working with many talented individuals. After four decades in the film and television industry, the actress has left an indelible mark on audiences with her diverse range of roles. From her early work as a teenager in the 1950s to her more recent appearances, she has consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances. The actress first gained recognition in the early 1960s with her role in The Five Pennies, for which she received a Golden Globe nomination. She continued to make a name for herself with appearances in films such as Pretty Poison and Lord Love a Duck, solidifying her status as a rising star. Throughout her career, the actress has never shied away from taking on challenging and unconventional roles. She has played everything from a seductive temptress to a troubled teenager, always bringing depth and nuance to her characters. In addition to her work in film, the actress has also made significant contributions to television. She has appeared in a number of popular shows, including The West Wing and Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Her performances on the small screen have been just as impressive as her work in film, earning her critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. As we look back on the actress's career, it's clear that she has made a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Her work has resonated with audiences and critics alike, and her legacy is sure to endure for years to come. So, what do you think of the actress's work and legacy? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let us know which of her performances have stood out to you the most. And don't forget to like and share this post with your friends to help spread the word about this remarkable talent.